More than my job's worth, mate. No admissions within half an hour of closing. There's a man in there who needs me. Oh, he's my best mate. He's in your zoo and he's having a personal crisis. Well, you'll just have to wait, won't you? You'll be having it out here in half an hour. Just take that. Eh? Keep the change. Just let us through. We still close in half an hour. 20 quid per box, and I want them delivering properly, through letterboxes. No chucking them over the garden gate. You're taking advantage of our friendship. I'm offering you a bona fide business opportunity. Yeah, well, I'll never do it on my own. There's hundreds of flyers in a box. Yeah, and every flyer has a reference Look, number. Look, are you going to answer that? Oh, they'll call back. And for every new member of staff who I recruit who rings and quotes that reference number, you get um, an extra fiver. Then you've got a deal. Great. Hello, vet surgery. How can I help? Oh, hello. It's only me, don't worry. I just wondered if you could start by explaining why I've been ringing solidly for the past 15 minutes and you haven't even bothered to pick up! We've got a bit of a conflict of interest here, don't you, Nicola? Finally tracked me down. You took your time. Yeah, well, I'll only sussed it when some bloke answered Don's mobile. Where is he? Oh. I, I wanted to say that I was sorry for yesterday. Let's just forget yesterday. Suppose my darling wife sent you? Viv. Viv's heartbroken. How do you think I feel? I don't care what rubbish she's told you, Terry, but you can tell her from me she's wasting her time. This marriage is over. Why don't you just at least talk to her? What is there to talk about, eh? Who was better between the sheets? I'm surprised she's bothered anyone. She's got every youngster in North Yorkshire throwing himself at her feet. I don't think it was quite like that. I mean, she knows she's made a mistake. A mistake? She's just ripped my guts out. Well, if you went home, well, at least she'd be able to try and sort this mess out. Home is where the problem is. Oh, me and my unhappy family. My wife has betrayed me with the first piece of beefcake she can get her hands on. My daughter and my ex-wife, who can't stand the sight of me at the best of times, they both hate me for screwing up a wedding day. And my best mate has married my little girl. Now, why would I want to go back to that? I promise, Paddy, this was a one-off. It won't happen again. Yeah, but we pay for a surgery phone so that our clients can contact us, so that they can get help in an emergency, not so that you can build up your Mrs. Mop empire. I've said I'm sorry. I don't think sorry's good enough, is it? You're gonna have to decide which way your priorities lie. I'll keep my business separate. I'll use my mobile. I'll never let the phone ring unanswered again, promise. Right, we better not, cos otherwise we're gonna have to fall out. Tea and a double brandy, please, Diane. Which bit of your bard do you not understand? You won't serve me more. Not after what she did to Bob, no. Oh, please, I'll just bar her again tomorrow. Let us have a drink. Come on, my wedding was an absolute disaster. Terry's off on some wild goose chase. Everyone hates her. I don't even know where my dad is. I'm so worried about him, Diane. This once. But only because I'm as worried about your father as you are. Jean supervisor. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's having yarn, lovey. Oh, there's your dead serious. I'm in charge. In charge? In charge you are. Just me at the moment, but as soon as there's another person to supervise, I'm the one responsible. One more every minute. Oh, she'll see me right, Nicola. I know she will. Ah, well, you've got more faith in her than I have, love. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hiya. Oh, sorry I'm late. Paddy was chewing my head off, so um, 
I had to buy him a drink. What have you done this time? Uh, just a bit of a misunderstanding. But I managed to talk him round. That's my girl. Chicken casserole okay for dinner? You're cooking? Twice in the same week? I told you I'd prove you wrong. I told you I could be gold star model housemate. Well, I must admit, it's all going suspiciously well <laughs> so far. <laughs> And I wake up every morning and thank my lucky stars that I don't have to spend another minute sharing a house with the foul-mouthed market trader from hell. Evening, Steph. I'm just putting the washing machine on. Have you got any collards you want doing? Uh, Edna, you've done enough for me. I can't have you doing me washing. No, neither will I. It's just that I've only got half a load and it seems a waste of water. I mean, I'd buy you bed, are they? All right. <laughs> no, Tootsie. Tootsie, I can't play now, I'm too busy. Look, you go to Mac. You can entertain her for a second, can't you? Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. You come here, Tootsie. Good girl, come on. Hiya. You didn't have to open up specially for us. Well, I can do your coffees, but there's no food today. I take it there's still no news of Bob, then? Terry's gone to get in. I can't do a thing with her. I'm so glad you're here. I've been desperate for someone saying to talk to her. Well, are you sure we should stay? Yeah, it's fine. Just ignore her. I'll get you drinks. Good news. Steve's going to college. Oh, we'll miss him, though, won't we? Ah, some more than others. I've only got a couple of months to get my act together. Well, all we need to do is find a list of colleges offering photography, then start ringing round, I suppose. That's if they'll take me. Hardly overqualified, am I? <laughs> Donna, refill. Forget it, bring the bottle. And you can tell your daughter I'm having a bonfire tonight. And if she doesn't remove her belongings from my living space... You I... dare, and I'll call the police. I am well within my rights, Nicola. You don't live in my home. Ladies, anymore. ladies, maybe we could reach some sort of compromise. Tell her, Dad, that I'll ship my stuff when Sid finishes decorating my room. And you can tell her she'll have to pay storage charges. You can't do that! I can do what I like. I've checked with the landlord and he agrees. You refuse to move your belongings, I keep the deposit. Well, that's what's left after the industrial cleaners have finished with your bedroom. That's nearly £400. Your choice. Oh, and just in case you were thinking of sneaking in when my back's turned, I've changed the locks. What were you saying about Gold Star Perfect Housemate? How about a bit of support, Dad? I couldn't get a word in edgeways. Well, you can't let her treat me like this. You're going to have to do something. I'll have a word. I'll have a word. Oh, get off my back, Terry. I don't want to know. Babe loves you. Yeah, sure she does. Yeah. You know she does. And I know you love her. You can't just walk away the first time you run into trouble. What do you expect me to do? Go back for more of the same. Panic every time she goes out in case she's at it with some blokes she's pulled off the street. We've all put a foot wrong sometime. I love this to death. She was my world, you know. What is it with women and me? Why, why, why do they always get it so wrong? If you loved her, if you really loved her, you'd give her a second chance. No, she's had her chance. She blew it. No, I'll get it right next time. Next time? What next time? You're wasting your time, Terry. I'm not going back. No. About time I moved on. Oh, you, you think it's adult just to run away every time you run into trouble? Do you think it's adult to go sleeping with some cheesy limo driver behind your husband's back? You can't just walk out of your life and, and start again. I've managed it before, haven't I? You abandon your daughter again. She'll never get over it. Oh, come on, she's already got me down as the evil father who's ruined her wedding day. She should think herself lucky I'm not going to mess up the rest of her life. Tell her I'll send a postcard. Oh, oh, oi, oi! Get Bob, off, you stupid! Get off me! Come on, get here! Come on! Oh, I am surprised. She's never done anything like this before. Well, it's just a nip, you know, I mean, there's nothing to worry about. Well, she does tend to get a bit boisterous when she's playing, don't you, Tootsie? You mustn't be so rough with Mr McKinley. Yeah, well, it's just a scratch. I mean, there's no harm done. The voice of a true dog lover. Dogs, yeah. I was brought up with him. 
then you'll understand how easy it is for them to get carried away when they're excited. Oh, that's my Irish stew. I'll leave you and Tootsie to kiss and make up. Get out of it. Get out of it, you scabby rodent. I'll be thrown out of some places in my time, but this... I'm sorry, mate. I was out of order. Well, why don't you come home, mate? You've got mates there. People who love you, people who try and help you sort out this mess. Which is more than most folks have. Look, I didn't have you down as a sort of wimp who'd run a mile at the first sign of trouble. I thought you were more of a man than that. <coughs> Obviously, I were wrong. I'm sorry about my mum. She's being so selfish. All she's doing is crying. I'm upset about Bob as well. And we better go back to the farm, Stephen. We've got tons more colleges to go through yet. Well, you've been through this with your mum and dad. You must know how I'm feeling. We best be off. We can finish this tomorrow. I'll print that list out for you then. Cheers, Katie. See you, darling. See you later. Oh, they can love the couple, don't they? Don't start. I'll begin to wonder what you see in them. Yeah, you tell them, love. I'm glad to hear it. So you're coming home? I don't have a home any longer. Mum's sitting there waiting for you. I don't want to see you, Mum. But you've got to. She's going mad with worry. She's desperate to talk to you. Donna, the only reason I'm standing here is I can't leave this village for good without saying goodbye to my daughter. But what about me? So she'll move it all by tomorrow then. Scout's honour. And you'll give her deposit back. Scout's honour. <laughs>
Look, I'm sorry I interrupted your evening. Well, living with Nicola every day is an adventure. <laughs> Suppose I'd better be getting back. You don't have to leave, do you? I had a far more interesting proposition for this evening. Who served you? Your bard. So is she. And you wouldn't want to be shown up as a hypocrite, would you, Diane? Oh, look what's just crawled in. Hello, love. Dad, this is a first. Bob Hope returning to the scene of a crime. I haven't come back for you. What can I get you, love? Could we just use the back room for a minute, please? Go through. Dawn, uh, I need to speak to you. On our own. After his performance yesterday, he doesn't deserve the time of day. Just shut it for once, will you? Dawn. What do we do? It's going to look a bit obvious, both of us holding a glass to the wall. We only go in if we hear screaming. Right. You miss all this, then, when you're gone? Not this place. Oh, I miss you a lot. Mm. And Kate, eh? You've got a soft spot for her, haven't you? Who wouldn't have? She's dead intelligent, funny, gorgeous. Why don't you just come out with her? Why don't you tell us what's on your mind? I know that I've spoiled your day, but I came back to say that I'm sorry. Oh, and I should be grateful, is that it? Oh, don't go off on my love. I can't take it. As long as you can promise me that this wasn't your plan from the start. Couldn't stop me marrying Terry, so you thought you'd stage some pathetic protest. What sort of dad do you think I am? Dad? I just found out about Viv and that fella. I couldn't help myself. That was Mum's fault. I don't know what possessed her to tell you. She wanted me to do this. She wanted you to see me as the man she's always told you that I am. This spoiled, selfish little puppet who screws up everything that he touches. You know what? I didn't let her down. No, Dad, I don't think that. How could I? How couldn't you after what I've done? Look, I'm really sorry about you and Viv. So am I. It's just my world. I don't know where I belong anymore. Oh, Dad. <coughs> You've always got me, whatever happens, Terry or no Terry, I promise. Yeah. And you've still got me. I've got nothing to say to you. Just half an hour. Please, Bob. No. You owe me that much at least. I don't owe you no, she's, any... No, she's right, Dad. Please talk to her. I'm not here. We go back to the house. Our house. Whatever. Come on, get going. Set my watch. Thanks, Diane. I'll let you know if I can make my shift. Oh, don't you worry about that. Good luck. Oh, thank you. Good luck, Mum. Hello, Wolfpack. Hey, thanks for finding him. Oh, I did my best, love. It's up to Viv now. All you do is go on and on about Katie and how great she is. Why don't you just admit that you've got your eye on her? She's an attractive girl. What's wrong with saying that? You're going to college, you're leaving. And you ought to try and get her to go with you. <laughs> What's so funny? You are. I don't fancy Katie and I never have. Yeah, well, you would say that, wouldn't you? I know what you want to do. You wanted to get a kit off of your pictures. Hang on a minute. Even if I did fancy Katie, I wouldn't do that to you. You're a mate. Yeah, well, mates don't matter when women are involved. Well, it does with me. Katie's gorgeous, but she's a mate too. Nothing more. Besides, I want to go for my dad's. So sit down, shut up, and sup up. Katie's safe with me. I promise. Anything else you want to get off your chest? I'll do anything. Anything at all for a second chance. Don't you think you owe that much to our marriage? I owe you nothing. Not after what you've done to me. If our marriage means anything at all... It didn't mean much to you, did it, when you had a bit of rough in the back seat? If only I could turn the clock back. I'd be so stupid. You mean he blew you out. And that's why he came trotting back to good old reliable Bob. No! He was a one-off. It's you I want. It's you I need. Please, I love you, Bob. Believe me. Then why did you do it? I don't know. 
I was drunk. Oh, don't try and pull that one on me. You knew damn well what you were doing, didn't you? Well, didn't you? Oh, I hope it was all worth it. This one off, this fling. It must have been pretty earth shattering stuff to make you tuck your marriage away. Don't, Bob. But were you unhappy with me? I was a boring in bed. Or did you have a bit more bicep than you used to at home? No. I was drunk and he was attentive and none of the girls believed that he'd look at me, but he did twice and I was so flattered one thing led to another and how many more times do you want me to say I'm sorry? You'll be telling me that you didn't enjoy it next. I didn't. I swear I didn't. <sighs> she disgusts me and all that. <laughs> No, 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 this will not do. Not at all. We're a quality cleaning company. We can do better than this. Our clients demand a cleanliness and professionalism at all times, and <laughs> this sort of shoddy work will lose us contracts. Well, I've heard some nonsense in my time. <sighs> I've stuck with you through thick and thin, and this is what you do to me. How many times can I tell you I'm sorry? How would you felt if I'd done this to you? I'd be devastated, I know. No, you wouldn't. I had to grovel when you had hysterics about me and Diane. Do you remember? <sighs> I, I should have seen this coming, shouldn't I? But instead, like a, like a halfway, I come crawling back for more. If you forgive me, if you come home, I promise, from the bottom of my heart, everything will be different. Words are cheap to a tart like you! <gasps> oh, but please don't. <laughs> I love you. And this is how you show me how much you love me, isn't it? Well, your actions speak for themselves. If you come home, I promise. Everything will change. I'll be a better person. I love you so much. You mean everything to me. <laughs> Can't we make it work? Please, don't make me beg. Do you think I should go over there, see what they're up to? I'd leave well alone if I were you, love. Do you think he's safe on his own with her? I've experienced it firsthand. That woman's got a violent streak. Oh, it's evil troublemakers like you. Look, try not to worry about it. It's up to them to sort things out. Now. Sort things out? A novelty. Bob Hope returning to the scene of the crime. Yeah, but what if he's serious this time? What if he's going to go and not say goodbye? No, he's not going to leave without seeing you, love. Yeah, but he only came back this time because of her. That's not true, Donna. Well, why did he tell me that then? It's like now you're here. I don't even matter. Look, he's not thinking straight. I know he thinks the world of you. She's right. He thinks of you as a daughter. Always has done. Yeah, well, try telling him that then. What a flaming mess. Satisfied now, are you? So what are we going to do then? I don't know. I, I really, I don't know. Why can't we try again? Because everything's changed. You're not the Viv I used to know. Oh, I'm still the same person, no question of that. The Viv I fell in love with isn't the same Viv that has a fling in the back seat of a limo. How many times do I have to tell you I'm so sorry? <sighs> yeah, you're sorry. I'm sorry. Dawn, so Donna's sorry. Everybody's flipping sorry. It doesn't mean we can get back together as though nothing's happened. Then if you are going to give up on us and leave, please put me out my misery and go, because you're dragging it out and it's killing me! Better give Diane a ring. Tell her I'm going into work. So you're not going, then? I'll stick around for a bit, you know, see how it works out. Thanks. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. Doesn't mean we're back together. Well, as long as you stay, I'll do anything. Separate rooms, anything you want. No, I'm not stopping here. Oh. But we can still see each other. Oh, let's, let's, do, let's just see how it goes, eh? Please don't leave me, Bob. I love you so much. I do, I love you so much. I know you do. Right, eh? <sighs> 